hello everyone i am akar shivarkar and i am working as a professional and my designation is design engineer having two plus year experience and my on site location is uh, kirloskar engineering limited i have joined the skill line to enhance my knowledge and skill in sensors and hypermesh so this course is very good and well managed with the management and also my project guide okay is very supportive to for me so let us talk about our my independent project and the topic is to perform a static structure analysis on frontal axis axel of tractor by using the ansys worker so so the objective and objective of this project is perform the static structure analysis on the frontal axis axle of the tractor by using the three different materials with the loading condition and we have to choose in this three the best of the material for the manufacturing of this axle with the help of the axis worker and you can see this the cases three cases are there the material are the stainless steel with the grade of sa 300 uh, 304 with the loading condition of 55000 newton and second case is the cast iron uh, cast iron with malleable and astm a 220 grade with loading condition 55000 newton and the third material is carbon steel with sa aisi 1045 with loading condition 5500000 newton so you can see this excel this is the file excel file uh, that uh, well, this is the part excel so in these are the part excel this is the excel bridge gears these are the carriers housing dome and the spring seats are there so let us talk about the introduction of the excel uh, excel is a non rotating non rotating machine element and it is used to support the load and this excel is subjected to always a bending movement due to transverse load acting on this axis of the vehicle and this chassis is supported into the axle in the vehicle the wheels are attached to the axle and it's the primary function to support the weight of the tractor transmit the power and the wheel and to the steer the vehicle wheels this frontal axle system consists of the axle beam tuner support differential support wheel hub steering system steering cylinders tie rods swivel house which which is used to support this uh, axle and this function is to support the support the weight of the tractor facilitate the steering it absorbs the shocks when the road in the road there are the bumps and, and all the there are there and uh, it absorbs the torque also for in the track in the time of braking of the vehicle condition so let us talk about the material which we are used in this uh, ansys for the analysis of this uh, frontal axle of this tractor so first is the stainless steel with the grade of sa 304 this is the this have having the excellent atmospheric environment with the and having the any corrosion media it's a very excellent uh, resistance power and having the good buildability wide use of the and it is widely used for various automobile also parts also because it is can be able to form in various shapes and size so it can be able to manufacturable is very good and having it is having the low carbon content and is and it is applicable for optimal strength also it's having the good thermal conductivity and the carbon steel is essential for the non magnetic 
so its cost is also might be good that in indian price it is a uh, 194 rupees per kg we also have to see the cost at the time of manufacturing which is good in manufacturing of this axle so its the material properties density is uh, 800 and 8000 kg meter cube these are the young's modulus 2 into rest power 11 pascals and poison ratio with the uh, 0.2 second material is cast iron which is malleable and uh, it's a uh, ASTM A grade with 220 so this is the malleable cast iron it is likely to the ductile iron which is which possesses considerable ductile and toughness because it is the combination of the graphite and the carbon metal matrix like a uh, ductile iron that malleable iron exhibits high resistance and corrosivity and excellent malleability so that we can able to manufacture this axle of the frontal axle of the tractor tractor it very easily so it is having the good damping capacity and fatigue strength also uh, you can also know the tractor is very having loaded and having not having springs and all so having should be having good damping capacity also and also useful for the long service and in the highly which is in highly stressed parts uh, the strength of material uh, the strength of material of this ability to withstand the applied load without without the failure and the plastic deformation and uh, this material all also used and applicable for various applications like the automobile parts steering gears axle bearing and housing cap and very and uh, another automobile parts also it can be used and uh, its cost is also very good as it varies up to 60 to 120 rupees per kg in india you can see the density 7 450 kg meter cube young modulus is also there that 1.75 e rest power 11 poison ratio 0.3 the third material is carbon steel with ai si and sae grade with of 1045 uh it is a medium tensile steel supplied in the black hot road and uh, normalized in normalized condition it is ability to good weldability and good machinability it's a higher strength also impact power is also good impact property is also good and it is also used in various industries also uh, this aisi sa steel has a low sort of uh, hardening capability that it is recommended for the tempering and tough hardening that carbon steel is uh, medium carbon and medium tensile steel supplied as a forged normalized and it is having it is showing the reasonable strength and toughness and this steel uh, has the designation of both sa and aisi for the material of grade 1045 both uh, sa and uh, aisi grade are under the 1045 material that carbon steel which designated and this cost is also about 65 rupees to 100 per kg in india also so these are the material properties of these three materials young modulus are there and density poison ratios are there so let us talk that uh, how we have done the machining and all uh, in this part we use the machining size that 25 mm and uh, that uh, method which we have using used for tetrahedron for the better machining quality and uh, for the better mesh refinement you can see this uh, body the uh, abc that designation which we where the use tetrahedron method is used and the sizes which we had used 
you can see the better meshing quality also better uh, mesh refinement and uh, boundary conditions we are used here that uh, you can see uh, 55000 we have used uh, and uh, that in between 5000 also uh, in between the dome 5000 newton is also used because of the um, because of the dome weight and inside part there are gears and the shafts are there so we are using the middle of this axle 5000 newton and uh, that the beam at the apart from the dome 55000 and 55000 both side we have used and uh, at the end of this axis we are big support are used and um, in this study you can see that we use the static analysis why we are using the static analysis in this the static analysis we use here because in this study we concentrate on the stress uh, strain and total deformation of the material uh, of the material because if the static load were not tolerated in the axle then the axle would be certainly not sufficient to the mechanical strength against the dynamic load so that's why we are preparing first to do the static analysis after that we can able to go some dynamic analysis and then model analysis and the various analysis we can go first is need to do the static analysis under this stress strain and total deformation so in first case we have using the material that uh, stainless steel grade of SA 304 so you can see the stresses for the equivalent stress for the maximum 88.07 megapascal the maximum stress and the minimum is 4.17 after the using the load of 55,000 and in between the uh, dome is 5,000 we are using 5,000 newton we have used in this dome and at the end of this fixed constraint we have used also the strain is 4.5 is just to power 5 and the minimum is 8.4642 is power minus 9 and the total deformation is 0.24 and for second condition that second condition is the case for material cast iron cast iron material and uh, ASTM A grade 220 with 55,000 Newton load in between that also we can we have used 5,000 in between the dome uh, the stress is here also 87.838 megapascal is maximum stress and uh, minimum is 4.989783 here is power uh, 9 megapascal the strain is also here the 5.5069 is to power 9 and uh, 9.7948 minus 9 and the total deformation is 0.288 and minimum is zero here and third case also you can see the stress strain and deformation the same loading condition previously we are used for the two cases so you can see the results we are done in tabular form here the previous results and you can see comparison in that the first case you can see the uh, first and second case having stresses both same and uh, these are greater than the case two. and the stay, strain you can see the case two is greater than three greater than case one also the case three is greater than case one and total deformation also you can see the case two is more than case three then more than the case one and we also compare the cost of for uh, the manufacturing cost should be also minimal for the manufacturing of this frontal axle of the tractor in the case one is more that material cost is more 
and case two and case three is approximately same, but also that case three is less cost than case two. So, so for the best material which I choose from the my analysis set, the stresses is less in the case three and the moderate moderate result we are getting in the strain and the total information and the case two and case one both are the high stresses so the case two is not suitable for that for the manufacturing but the case three having the better for the manufacturing of the frontal axle of the tractor because having the less stress and moderate strain and deformation properties and also you can see the cost of this uh, material is less for the manufacturing of the frontal axis of the axle of the tractor so i am preferring that this k3 is the best for the manufacturing of the frontal axis so go towards the conclusion that uh, we are using finite element analysis for the frontal axis for the for the different material and choose the proper boundary condition for the static analysis of this work then and we find the proper stress stress analysis strain and total deformation analysis and we are in investigated on this axle under static conditions because the static load is we are not tolerated and axle would be certainly have sufficient strength and against the dynamic load so that's why we prefer the static analysis load first so thank you